The Sumerians, inhabitants of southern Mesopotamia, left an undeniable mark on human history. Contrary to the common misconception of Sumer as a unified country, it was instead an amalgamation of independent city-states, each ruled by its own monarch. The name Sumer itself is a nod to the Akkadian people of the northern region, who dubbed it the Land of the Civilized Kings. In their own language, the Sumerians referred to their homeland simply as the land. The Sumerians were architects of pivotal concepts and innovations that still influence contemporary life. Among their groundbreaking achievements was the conceptualization of time, meticulously dividing day and night into 12-hour segments, hours into 60 minutes, and minutes into 60 seconds. Beyond temporal concepts, the Sumerians pioneered several hallmarks of civilization, including the establishment of the first schools, the earliest rendition of the Great Flood narrative, the oldest heroic epic, bureaucratic governance, monumental architecture, and advanced irrigation techniques. The origins of the Sumerians trace back to around 2900 BC, where they firmly established themselves in southern Mesopotamia. Scholars categorize Sumer's history into six eras, beginning with the Ubaid period and concluding with the Ur-3 period, often referred to as the Sumerian Renaissance. The Ubaid people, precursors to the Sumerians, remain shrouded in mystery, but their artifacts suggest the founding of early communities that evolved into the bustling cities of the Uruk period. During the early dynastic period, Sumer witnessed the emergence of kings, the formation of government structures, and conflicts between city-states over land and water rights. Notably, an Embaragazi of Kish led the first recorded war in history around 2700 BC, successfully defeating Elam. Later, Sargon of Akkad seized control, incorporating Sumer into his extensive empire. This dominance persisted until the Gutian's rule, ultimately supplanted by the Sumerian Renaissance, led by Urnamu and Shulgi of Ur. The Sumerian cities thrived through trade, fostering cultural growth, innovation, and invention. In fact, historians have identified 39 firsts attributed to the Sumerians, ranging from the establishment of the first schools to the first proverbs, animal fables, and literary imagery. The Sumerians also conceptualized the city, with Uruk claiming the title of the world's oldest city. Eridu, revered as the first city by the Sumerians, held a special place in their mythology. According to their beliefs, the god Enki raised Eridu from marshy waters, establishing the foundation for kingship and societal order. Despite Eridu's fall from prominence, it remained a tangible, sacred place, accessible to the people. Government in Sumer was intertwined with religion, as the Sumerians believed in cooperating with gods to maintain order. The Sumerian king list, compiled around 2100 BC, chronicles king's reigns from the world's inception. The Lugal, or king, governed the city-state, overseeing agricultural endeavors and ensuring divine will was executed on earth. The Eridu Genesis, composed circa 2300 BC, presents the earliest version of the Great Flood narrative, a story later echoed in various cultures' epics, including the Atrahasis, Epic of Gilgamesh, and the Book of Genesis. This myth outlines how gods, displeased with humanity, initiated a flood to restore order, setting limits on human life and ambition. The Sumerians' language, cuneiform writing system, and cultural contributions became influential across Mesopotamia. As the first civilization to wield writing for communication, they birthed literary masterpieces like the Epic of Gilgamesh and hymns by Enheduanna. Sumerian achievements reverberated through time, influencing later works, including the Bible, Greek mythology, and Egyptian architectural practices. Despite their profound impact, the Sumerians succumbed to the Elamite invasion around 1750 BC. Environmental challenges, urban expansion, and cultural shifts catalyzed their decline, accentuated by Hammurabi's rise in Babylon, which marked a theological departure and diminishing status of female deities. The Elamites merely delivered the final blow to a culture already in decline.